Did the most anticipated diesel engine of the decade just get banned before it even hit the streets? Yeah, the Cummins X21, the engine that promised revolutionary efficiency, unprecedented torque, and the next chapter of American diesel innovation, has just been blocked. But why? Corporate sabotage? Environmental red tape? Or something far more unexpected? Stick around, because this story isn't what the headlines told you. By the way, what's the difference between government regulations and a bad tender date? Both seem promising at first, then suddenly you're ghosted, with no explanation. Let's rewind a bit. The Cummins X21 was supposed to be a game changer. A 15-liter powerhouse targeting both on-highway trucks and off-highway industrial markets. It was built on the promise of ultra-low NOx emissions, higher fuel efficiency, and a modular platform that would support everything from diesel to hydrogen. Big words, right? But Cummins wasn't just talking, they were delivering. Until they weren't. As the first wave of pre-production details rolled out in early 2025, the buzz was massive. Fleets were already prepping budgets, engine blogs lit up, and even OEM started signaling support. But then, in a quiet press release, hardly anyone noticed, production plans were paused indefinitely. Regulatory agencies had raised compliance concerns. Which brings us to the cliffhanger. What exactly got the Cummins X-21 banned? Let's break it down. The first suspect? EPA emissions regulations. The 2027 emissions standards are coming fast, and they're brutal. Zero emissions goals, methane leakage controls, and even stricter NOx thresholds are no joke. Although Cummins designed the X-21 to comply, there's a twist. The engine was still reliant on advanced SCR systems. And guess what? One internal EPA review claimed the technology didn't meet practical deployment expectations in congested states like California. Translation? The EPA basically said, cool idea, but we don't think it'll work at scale. Ouch. But is that really the whole story? Here's where it gets interesting. Several insider sources, yes, the kind that always say anonymous for legal reasons, hint that hydrogen fuel lobbying played a bigger role than anyone's admitting. There's growing pressure from both green energy lobbies and automakers transitioning to full EVs. The X-21 was hybrid fuel capable, but not fully electric. In today's political climate, not going 100% electric is basically career suicide for a powertrain. So some speculate Cummins got the quiet nudge, pivot, or get pushed aside. Remember when diesel was the future? Now it feels like diesel is that guy at the party who keeps talking about MySpace. Respectable history, but no one's really listening anymore. Still, Cummins isn't folding. They've already shifted focus to their fuel agnostic platform, where a single engine block can run diesel, hydrogen, or natural gas. Think of it as the Swiss Army knife of emissions compliance. Flexible, scalable, and politically friendly. But here's the real kicker. Even though the X-21 as we knew it got banned, Cummins has quietly hinted that a reimagined version could still be on the horizon, just under a new name or in a different format. What if the X-21 wasn't killed off, but strategically sacrificed to push forward a more government-aligned engine family? In other words, did Cummins just fake its own death to stay alive in a post-diesel world? You'll want to stick around for our next breakdown, where we dig into leaked internal documents and connect the dots between Cummins, Congress, and the trillion-dollar hydrogen bet that's reshaping U.S. transportation. So, should we mourn the X-21, or was it just a pawn in a much larger game? Let us know in the comments. And hey, subscribe if you want the uncensored version of what's really going on under